What's going on guys? It's your boy Drizzy Dre and I'm back with another video for today. It's going to be a kind of a, a gaming setup which it hasn't changed very much and kind of like a review. Um my gaming setup we just moved like I said to our new house. So obviously I got a little bit bigger space to play. Uh, but it's nothing it's nothing has actually changed. There's my camera, my monitor, my headset. Um the only thing that's kind of changed is my routers right here next to it, which I still got it hardwired to my PS4. So that makes it a little bit easier, but it's pretty much the exact same. Like I said, there's a PS4 extra controller and my mix amp for my headset. Um and then there's another controller as well. So obviously that hasn't changed. There's some wires, there's a fan, so when I get hot. Uh, pretty much that's about it. Like they said, nothing's really changed about that. But the main thing I wanted to bring you in those videos because uh, my friend DHP actually sent me out something the other day. He bought it for me and sent it out for me. So thanks to him. Uh, big shout out to him. This is really helpful. But uh, yeah, he bought me uh, he bought me this controller right here. Uh, it's made by a company named Cinch. Uh, if you don't know who they are, look them up there. They're pretty good. Uh, I really like it. It's uh, pretty much the same thing as a scuff. If you play Call of Duty, I'm sure you know what a scuff controller is. It's uh, the same concept. Um, let me show you the what the actual main features of the controller are. Um, uh, the scuff controller, what it is, is on the back there's these little paddles that come down. You can get them in two or four. And uh, what they are is they act as the X, or you could actually set them to any button, but most people set them to the, the X and the circle button, or the, uh, what is that, A and B, or yeah, A and B, whatever the fuck it is on Xbox. Uh, they set those to those, so that way they can jump shot and, and knife or drop shot easier. So uh, instead of having to take your, le your right finger off the, your aiming to, to push circle or X, you can just push the buttons on the back and keep your, front, your finger on this. So when you're playing like that, I could just push the button on the back right here, and uh, it'll uh, it'll activate the button. You see what I'm saying? So on this side, this one is X, and then on this side right here is circle. So if I want to jump shot, I'll push this one. If I want to, if I want a knife, I'll push this one. Cause I play on tactical, which that switches circle and uh, R3. So when I want to drop shot, I'll push an R3 instead of circle. Like I said, it makes jumping and knifing a little bit easier. Uh, cause usually when I get into a gunfight and it's really close, I don't know why I shoot before I knife. So usually I lose those gun devices because they knife me. So hopefully that this will help out and that'll make it a little bit better. Another thing is it's got the uh, the dome sticks right here, as you can tell, instead of the regular uh, PS4s that are just kind of flat. Which I still like these; they're not bad. But they uh, the only thing I don't like about them is the, I don't know what's up with the rubber that they put on here. As you can tell right here, it it rips really easy. That's only that happened about like maybe a month or two after playing, which I didn't even play consistently. I kind of stayed off for a little bit. But yeah, that happened really quickly. And then as you can tell, this one is a uh, is a uh, the dome six kind of like the ps3 so hopefully these last a little bit longer and then also another feature is this right here on the very back if you could see Let's see if this thing will focus no nope, wrong thing to focus on there we go the little the little knob coming out of the trigger it is a, a trigger stop so what that does is instead of having to push the uh the trigger all the way down like this to shoot this one kind of stops at like halfway right here so it kind of saves a little bit of time it's not obviously too much but what it does allow you to do is shoot uh like a whole lot faster since you don't have to go down you know very much but uh yeah i just wanted to bring you to this video guys like i said uh these buttons right here work as x and o so if i want to go into the menu or something i could push this one for x and as you can tell yeah it goes right through and if i want to go back i'll just uh push this other one I want to go back, I push circle. Obviously, these these buttons still work as well, X and O. Uh, but uh, yeah, it just makes it a whole lot easier and uh, a whole lot more convenient instead of having to move your thumb off the uh, the aiming stick and lose aiming for a little bit. But uh, yeah, thanks to HTB for this a lot. I really appreciate it. Like I said, it's a really nice controller. Uh, if y'all like if y'all like it, I mean, y'all can always go check them out. Uh, uh, just go look up the Cinch Gaming, I believe it is. Uh, you, you'll find it really easy. Like I said, it's a really cool controller. I really like it. It's nothing too fancy. I think they can even customize the colors for you. He just got us the normal ones, obviously, because he paid for them. He didn't want to go all out. But yeah, yeah. thanks, DSP. Thanks for uh, sending this to me, and I uh, really appreciate it. Um, I, I, I've been playing with it the past couple of days. I really enjoy it. It really does help me out a little bit. I, like I said, I just got to get used to it. Um, that's all, that's all I really gotta do, but besides that, it is a really good controller. So, uh, yeah, guys, if you guys enjoyed it, just, uh, just, uh, go look them up and see if you can try and buy yourself one. Like I said, they really do help and, uh, it makes everything a lot easier. But, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd bring you this guy, this video to you guys, um, sorry I haven't been too active here lately, but, uh, yeah, I'm trying to post, I'm gonna try and post a couple more videos, hopefully sometime soon. Uh, hopefully when the new Call of Duty comes out, it's a little bit better too, because this ghost kind of sucks, like I said. But uh, yeah, just uh, I want to bring this video, guys. But uh, that's about it. I'll go ahead and catch you guys later.